Hi, my name is Derek and I'm part of the Strategic Content Development Team here at Blackbaud. Today, we're going to take a closer look at student checklists for the Enrollment Management product. Using student checklists, schools can create and assign specific checklists to students. This shows them a list of items that need to be completed or submitted before coming to school. If needed, multiple checklists can also be assigned to the same student. So why student checklists? Well, the short answer is flexibility. The checklists let parents track things outside of forms that are due, upload documents right to it, and stay up to date on timelines. In addition, these checklists can be assigned to faculty and staff as well. Perhaps you want a role or member at the school to keep track of certain items, access them, or verify when something is due. You can do that using student checklists. To get started inside of Enrollment Management, Admissions Managers and staff can head to Enrollment and then Student Checklists. This screen displays all created checklists, so if this is your first time, it'll be empty. From here you can see the number of steps in each checklist, who created it, what state it's in, and a school year. This can also be changed if needed. Filtering options, a search bar, and customizable columns can all be found here as well. To create a new checklist, select this. Provide a name for the checklist, select the school year it needs to be associated with, and then fill in these optional fields if you want. Please note that these fields can be changed after the checklist is created. Also keep in mind that setting the status to active means users can now see it if it is assigned to them. If you ever need to modify an existing checklist, select this icon, and then Edit Checklist. From here you can add new steps, edit existing steps, and delete a step if needed. Rearrange the current order using this button right here. When your checklist is ready, it's time to assign them to students. Select Manage Checklists and pick as many students from the list as needed. Not seeing the student you need? Use the filter to adjust the list of students that appears. Select Assign Checklist to apply as many checklists as needed to all previously selected students. In addition, Remove Checklist will allow you to remove all or a selected number of assigned checklists. The final piece to student checklists is viewing files that have been submitted and uploaded by families. Select Process Checklist Steps to see any students that have uploaded something as well as which step they've submitted to. Using bulk actions, you can change the step status or use the context menu to delete an attachment or edit the step. For more detailed information about student checklists, including what it looks like for families, make sure to check out our Help Center documentation. As always, thanks for watching.